Hey y'all. Um, so as promised, I wanted to do a cinch share tutorial. So if you're not familiar with cinch share, um, it's C I N C H S H A R E.com. Um, and it's one of the multiple posting softwares you can use, um, for virtual parties. So some people use post my party. Um, and I've, I've seen some other ones, but I started using cinch share. I really like it. Um, this is not like an advertisement for it. This is just a how to use it because it's not the most user-friendly thing when you're trying to figure things out. Um, so I wanted to give you a tour of it and kind of show you where everything is, how it works, how you do things. Um, and that way it'll be a little bit easier for you because it really does streamline the virtual party process. And for me, it lets me run multiple virtual parties at the same time. Um, so I started off running just one or two virtual parties a week. Um, now I run five or more. And the only way I can do that is through CentShare and my business page on Facebook. So I'm going to say right now, if you do not have a business page set up on Facebook, you need to stop this video right now and go do that. Um, I believe there's a tutorial on how to do it in Dash, but don't even try to set up your Scent Share until you have that business page set up. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take my face to tiny screen here. Um, and so this is what the Cinch Share website looks like when you get to it. So um, I also have in another tab open my Facebook business page. So one thing they told us at conference, and I am to throw this little tidbit in here. One thing they told us is that your business page is kind of like your storefront where your VIP group is your your store. So you want your storefront, your business page to reflect you and your business. A big tip that I can give you is have a very recognizable picture of yourself as your profile picture. Um, don't have a picture of your head turned to the side. Um, don't have a picture of you looking down um, or a kid for that matter. You want your business profile picture to be you because people want to see and know who they're interacting with, right? So obviously, like this picture wasn't of just me. It has Claire in it down here. Um, but this is me. And then this is me in the um, test kitchen when we did the home office tour. So I thought that was a cute little picture to put up. So um, yeah, so here's my business page and I'm going to come back to this in a second to show you how all of this works. So on CentShare, I'm going to log in with Facebook and it, it is always going to pop this up. It's going to say, um, would I like to continue? Yes. And by the way, anytime you change your Facebook password, you're going to have to re-up that in Cinch Share. Okay. All right. So when you log into Cinch Share, this is the home screen. This is where you're going to fall. This is where you create and schedule your posts. I'm going to come back to this in a second. So your home screen is this little button right here. It's this calendar check. That's how you schedule a post. Okay. That's where we are now. If you go down one. This is where it says my networks. That's where you're going to need to go to set everything up. Okay. So don't get scared. Um, in order to have everything working correctly, I highly recommend that you run your stuff through your business page. Okay. So let me show you how you would do that. So I'm going to go to my business page. All right, and I'm going to create a group by clicking this little three dot here. I'm gonna go down to create a group and I'm gonna call it um, sample PC party, okay? I'm gonna add some people. So that's usually where I add myself and I add the host, okay? Create. And I always do a closed group. You don't have to, but I always do. All right, so now I've created this group. In order for this group to show up in Cinch Share, ready? This is important. You have to go over here to More, and you're going to click Edit Group Settings. All right, now when you scroll down, your description, that's where you put your party link and all that good stuff, you're going to scroll until you see Add Apps. All right, I'm going to click that, and I don't know some random ones usually pop up right to begin with. Um, of course, my computer's being slow. 
Okay. So add apps, of course, these that's what I was saying, these random ones. So I'm going to type in cinch share. All right. I'm going to click on it. I'm plugging in my computer here. And you're going to hit add because that's what gives cinch share the ability to post to the group for you. If you don't do this step, you're, you're going to be very confused as to why your group is not showing up in cinch share. So I'm going to hit done. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to hit save. Okay. So before I even set it up in Scent Share, I've done all of this. All right. I've, you know, if I want to change my colors or whatever and I add my description, everything's good. All right. So now I'm going to go over to Scent Share and the first thing you need to do is refresh. And by refreshing, it's going to pick up all the groups that you've created that you are linked to. All right, and it takes a hot second. And my Wi-Fi is a little slow up here. All right, so now you're seeing, wait a minute, my party didn't come up. Well, it's because I need to come back to my group. And do you see how up here it says interacting as Ariel Tyson Pampered Chef? All right, so now I need to go to members because remember I added myself as a member but do you see how only my business page is an um, admin? I need to add my personal profile as an admin because that's what makes me the manager of the group, okay? So I need to make sure my personal profile is an admin. I'm gonna send this invite, okay? So now I'm gonna change this as how I'm viewing it from my business page to my personal page. And right at the top, I'm going to have a, you've been invited to be an admin. I'm going to accept that. All right. If you don't do that step, that's, that's where the confusion comes in with sent share. All right. So I wanted you to see that happen because now my personal profile and my business profiles are admins on the group. So now when I refresh, my group should pop up. Let's see. Ta-da! Did you see it happen there? All right. So you notice it didn't happen until I added my personal page as an admin. So now here's what we have. I'm going to scoot my little screen over here so you can see what all of this means. Actually, I'm just going to move it up here. Sorry. So right here, this is what this means. The I means that you're seeing it in this list. If you want, when you go to make your post, them to automatically show in that group for it to already be checked for you, that's where you click the heart and the check. But there's one more step here. You see how my Facebook page is here? I want my post to come through my Facebook business profile. And I do that because last year, Sinshare had an issue posting from personal profiles, but it always worked from business profiles. The other reason I suggest you do this is because with everybody being put in Facebook jail, you want to be posting from a business page because that shows Facebook you're not spamming someone on your personal wall. You are coming from a business entity. Okay. So in order to link this group to my business profile, here's what I need to do. I'm going to click on the little people and you're going to see the two groups that I have not let yet linked to my business profile. And you can only do one at a time. Okay. You can't select both. See it only lets you do one at a time. So I'm going to select my sample PC party and I'm going to hit link. Okay. So now you see it there. And I'm actually going to remove all of these other parties because these all ended last week. So I just go ahead and remove them um, once they are no longer active. So I'm going to take this one out of sight, this one, this one, this one. There we go. So now I'm down. All right. So I'm going to leave it so that the only party that is visible to like with the little check mark is my sample PC party. All right. So now all of the back work um, is done, the leg work, and I can actually go in and schedule a post. So there's two ways you can do this. Way number one is creating a post from scratch. Okay. So I can say, 
Um, hi, welcome to the party. I'm Ariel. Okay, I can put whatever post I want up and I can choose a file from my computer. So I'm going to go into pictures and I'm going to pick, um, let's see, we had family pics done in the spring. There you go. A nice picture of me and my family, which by the way, should be one of your first posts in the party. It makes you relatable to people. Let them see who you are, why you're doing Pampered Chef, who your kids are, because it makes you a real person. You want to be a real person, right? So there we go. I have my picture uploaded. I have my little caption. Obviously, I wouldn't just say, hi, I'm Ariel. Um, and then you can select the time to schedule the post. So I'm going to set it for 719 because it's 30 seconds shy of 719. And I want to show you how this actually posts. And see, I have the option to post it to my personal profile and my business page. I'm just posting to the party, so that's the one that's checked. I can even post it to my Insta if I want to. And then I can even choose a place to save this, okay? And then I'm going to schedule the post, okay? So once I schedule it, it's gone, it disappears, all right? Another way that you can do this is you can go down here, what's this one, um, to manage posts. And this is where the magic happens. This is where you have all of the folders with all of your posts, okay? So I can go to, let's see, party setup posts. This is where, and I've created all of these folders. So let's say I wanna schedule my first three posts for the party. I want to schedule um, my how to turn on notifications, little bit about me, and what's your biggest kitchen challenge, okay? I'm going to come up here to these three arrows, three little lines here. This is the magic of SentShare. Are you ready for this? And I'm going to click Batch Post. Took me almost six months to figure this out. All right, so I've selected three posts. I can, of course, just post one at a time. And I'm gonna move myself down here. And sometimes this takes a second to load, and that's okay. Since here can be a little slow, but you have to think of the amount of info it's loading. All right, so batch posts. So let's say I wanna start these posts at 7.22 p.m., which is, um, Actually, I'm going to start them at 721. I'm going to post them every two hours. Apply. And see how it sets that interval for me. And then I'm going to schedule the batch. Oh, I have to make sure that my start time is current. There we go. Schedule batch. Start time. Okay, let's see. 731, 721, oh. 723 p.m. today. There we go. All right. So now, I only have a minute, 15 seconds left on my video. So I, I do want to show you how these post. So now I'm going to come back to my party. I'm going to refresh. And ta-da, I have posted via cinch share. That's how it shows up. And it posted for me, okay? So hopefully this video is helpful to you in getting started in cinch share. Like I said, I know it can be really confusing once you, like when you just log in and see a bunch of all of these tabs and stuff, but it's really, really helpful, especially if you save posts into albums um, so that all you have to do is batch post. The coolest thing is I can come back to history and um, I can actually see all of my party posts. I can select a whole day's worth of posts repeatedly to post in my parties. All right. So hopefully this was helpful to y'all. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I feel like I've mastered since share at this point. So I'm happy to answer any questions you have. And again, I'm Ariel. I hope you guys have a great night or whenever you're watching this. Bye.